Last time you filled up, you got gas everywhere on you. <laughs> I did. And I was going off the concept of putting gas in my car. Okay, so like, it's a little it different. It should be easy peasy. Yeah, it's a little different. So what was the issue that you had? I did had a couple issues, actually. I stuck it in way too deep. That's what, what she, she said. said. <laughs> and then I pushed the nozzle down too hard. Okay. So I gave it too much You're power. scaring me with that. Oh, you can't, I'm walking around the bike and you're just doing this to me. <laughs> I'm going towards the gas tank. Okay, let's move that out of the way. Okay. All right. So, so right, you see how there's that um, that little hole? hole? That See, you're pointing at a little hole, so there's a big hole. Uh -huh. So I would put that, that just the, the tip of that, okay. a <clears throat> little bit in, and that way I could still see. You want to be able to see, so don't rely. There you go, two hands. There you go. So there's that little hole... And then that way I like to see, and you just do maybe a little bit half throttle on the, uh, throttle, half of the lever. So there you go. There you go. So you can still kind of see, no, no, right there, that's going to splash on you. If you spray it into the metal part, onto the metal part, it's going to sh shoot back up at you. That's what happened. So okay. that's why you want to get a, okay, I'm going to pause real quick. I'll show you how to, how, how to do it. Mm -hmm. So that way you know. Okay. So I just move this out of the way, and I... See how I got the top part open? Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, if, I do. If, if I, even if I want to, I could do that. Got to have, like, the right amount of pressure, so isn't Yeah. Like and be careful because gasoline is caustic, and if you get it in your eyes, that can be very damaging to your eyes. So when it splashes back up at you, that could be a bad thing. Um, I'm not saying wear your visor down, but... Just be extra careful with that. Slow is smooth, because um, like right now we're almost at a gallon, and remember these tanks only take like two to three gallons. So. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so there's no rush. You're already halfway there. I can't even turn my head to look. No. Yeah. So just take your time on that. So any issues with? Um, you can see it starting to come up on the little okay. holes. Okay. Okay. So this is, it's easy. It's simple. Mhm. Mm I I just had no idea. Yeah, I'm watch like what you're doing. I know. I'm Are you done? Yeah. You shouldn't be. Look. No, you only got 1.2 gallons in there. And look, you're you almost on empty. I know. So you want to You see it? Yeah, I see it. So how high is it supposed to go? It's supposed to go almost to the top. So you probably got half a gallon. Or not half a gallon, but half a tank in there. there see how it much is. more? Mm, yeah. You just you let it keep going a little bit. There you go. It's about right there where it starts to come out. Mm -hmm. So that's that's good. So now what you don't want to do, I'm going to move the handlebars. Okay. So that would have been a little bit easier. You have more room. I like to kind of... Tap it and flip be. it. So now typically what you would do, mm -hmm. I'm just going to do don't this. Don't hang it up yet. I'm hanging, I'll hang it up. Uh. Typically you wouldn't hang it up. That way somebody behind you can fill up. That's how you'd be a good riding buddy. Oh, okay. okay. So... There, there you we go. go. Gonna push okay. It in. So go ahead and put that in there. You had issues moving the bike. This so morning. Like, yeah. So in this so in this situation, we're still gonna be here a while because I gotta fill up. So you can either get on the bike and kind of paddle walk it, or you can move it with your with your hands without getting on. That's usually the easiest. So let's go ahead okay. and move it. So if I'm gonna move it out of your way, I don't want to get hit. So I'm gonna scoot it up no, this just, way yeah, to just the left. Move it. Yeah, the bikes don't take up a lot of room. You could just yeah. move it to, to where I'm at. We're still in the mm -hmm. shade. So how would you do that? I'm going to grab it. Well, I'm going to grab it like this, and then I'm going to move it this way. Okay, so bicycles are easy to move with two handlebars. Mm -hmm. These things are heavy, and the weight displacement, the weight wherever it is, it's not just here in the front or on the bottom. It's all over. Yeah, it so is. So it could fall out from underneath you. So, yeah. So grab it. And stand because I saw you earlier doing this and kind of walking it this way. You don't have a lot of power in this arm, so I like to walk it and sidestep it. So I'm doing this. I did it like that because when we lived in the apartments, it's probably a different parking area. Yeah. You had told me to lean it up against my thigh. Yeah. So you it. so you can lean it up against your thigh when when it comes to just kind of moving it forward a little bit. So when I said lean it up against your thigh, it's like that. Mm-hmm. And then you and can you guide kinda, it. And then you can kind of walk it. Mm-hmm. So. If you're moving it backwards, it's a lot easier doing this for your weight. Okay. Now, there's other ways of doing it, but for you, 
that I'm way, weak and I'm that, short. That way it can lean more on you and you have two hands and you're holding it up. Um, you see that? I want to hold it like that and try. Okay. I want to see how it feels. Okay. Remember, so you're I haven't in gear. Had, okay. So I haven't gonna, had... What? You're, well, you're in gear, so it's not going to move this way. Yeah. And I'm also not grabbing. Okay. Uh, you saw me do that. Oh, I, I, I didn't I, notice that. Well, I purposely did that because it's just a little bit of pressure. Okay, okay. so, so now, now square square up to it. Well, not like... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> see, that's heavy like that. Okay, so now put... See how you're holding it like this? Because you're, you're, you're wrapping with your fingers. Yeah. So, so if you hold it like that, try that. Just all we're practicing right now is the weight. Right, okay. So lift it up. Okay. There you go. See how you can balance the weight? Yeah. Okay. So now leading it down. Let's see. Let's put it in neutral. Okay. The best way to find out is roll it a little bit and then push it all the way down until it shifts. And there you go. Okay. okay. So we're going we're gonna to move it back. See, that's one way of doing it. But it, see how I have to look over my shoulder like side-eyed like that? It's hard to see where I'm going. So when you do this, you open up the view also. Mm -hmm. So... Now right. let's let's move it backwards a little bit. Stupid Back cone. Back to you. Yeah. Okay. There you go. And you want to move the kickstand up because it could catch something. Right. So if you're in that position, hold it still. Now there you go. Woo. Oh, yeah, you don't want to tip it over the balance. There you go. Oh, this feels good. Yeah. And then I fucking drop it. Okay, so now here, before you let go, obviously, you put the side stand down. Mm -hmm. So with that position, go ahead. There you go. Ooh. I got it. Yeah. Okay. So like anything you did with the motorcycle, it's going to be nerve-wracking and you're going to be choppy. It is, yeah. But then, but then you're going to be moving things. That's a, the that's a crappy thing is that I... See, so then you're just going to grab it and just move it. Ah, oh, get out of here. Get out of here. And then you just do this. <laughs> You look like a child trying to move a freaking elephant yeah. out of the room. So, yeah, in a situation where you have two people coming up to ride, you fill up, and then maybe your partner moves the bike out of the way, and you're standing here with the with the nozzle, mm -hmm. and then you guys swap, and then I'm it's my turn to fill up, and okay. then I'll just then I'll get the next one, you know. So that way we're not having okay, I gotta get my oh shoot yeah. my wallet's in my backpack. Let me. There's only a couple my, bucks to fill up. Yeah, 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 and that's the thing. That's the thing. Did you did you use a uh, 91? IBAP? But that's how you fill up. Um, see, see, mine's different. See, a lot of motorcycles are different. See, I don't have that. I like yours. So I don't have that um, little, little round thing. Metal thing. Yeah. That's in the way. I had that on the Harley. <coughs> this is a full-on plastic uh, gas tank, and it goes underneath the seat. So you you just have to find your thing. But with this one. It's a lot of the same. Are you okay there? Yeah, it just keeps getting <laughs> caught. It's a lot of the same. So here, I'll leave it up. So come over here. I'll leave it up just a little bit. And I'll get it. What the hell? Yeah, it's hard to push. All right, so down. I'll get an idea of the flow. Now, some gas tanks, they'll fill up, like, say, halfway. But if you fill up too fast, it'll look like it's filling up over here. Mm -hmm. And there's just an air bubble. So this one has that problem with the air bubble. But I'm just going to, this one's easy to fill up. Once again, you don't want to get gas in your eyes because that's it is a caustic substance. Hydrocarbons are not good to breathe. So, like, if you can hold your breath when you're doing this. Science class with Daniel. Uh, I learned a lot of this stuff in the hazmat class that even filling up your car and standing next to the filler is not good. Yeah. It so shows, stay up. Yeah, stay upwind. Yeah, ever since you showed me that video of that guy doing that, standing and moving, and like that aura of gas around him when he's mm -hmm. filling up, I always go to the other side of my car and wait. Yeah. Okay, so that's good enough for me. I know I could probably put a little bit more, but if you get any spillage, let's say a little bit of gas got in your tank, just go grab uh, one of these. Okay, and just wet it. Just just get like a small little dab. Mm-hmm. Just a, just a little bit, not even anything really. And I'll just example. So I'm going to... Just kind of wash it off because it is caustic and it will eat uh, paint. It will eat uh, leather or anything like that. It'll just damage it because it's not 
it's not good. And so you want to clean it off as soon as you can because you could bake it in. And then here, make sure your gas cap is actually on. Mm -hmm. The good thing with the locking ones is that you can't pull the key out unless it's actually on. Nice. Okay. Um, but sometimes, like with my Harley one, they're just screw on. So a lot of people have screw on ones. And if you don't screw it on right and you go for a turn, you'll have gas just come <gasps> down. Oh, that's if it's scary. Full. Ooh. Yeah. So watch out for that. Um, what else? What other questions do you have about filling up? Because you're going to be doing this all on your own. I, I just need... So when I'm filling up on my own, I need to know that I guess there is a specific gas that you put. Number two, moving my bike around so I can get it out of the way. And then um, how much pressure... You don't stick the nozzle all the way in. I know no. it might seem like a silly question, but I've never filled up a gas tank other than my car. And in my car, you just stick the freaking nozzle in. Press as hard as you can, lock it, and you're good. Well, you can you can put it all the way in. It's just that you won't be able to see where your mm -hmm. fill level is. And if you have it full blast, it's just going to shoot up at you. Right. So, well, that's uh, what I experienced last yeah. time. <laughs> well, think of it as filling up like uh, like one of these water bottles. Uh, it's over there. But one of those, right here. Like this, these ones. No, that's, those are gallons. But like the, oh. uh, the uh, skinny ones, uh -huh. if you just full blast it, it's going to shoot down and then come back out. Mm -hmm. So if you fill it up at half speed, it's going to start filling up this way. Mm -hmm. It's a lot like this. So if you just shove it in there, even that, yeah, even a gallon. If you do it with the gallon, it's just going to come out the top. And then okay. when you're done, you're like a quarter full and it shot out the top. Yeah. So it's the same concept to this. Um, that way you don't get gas on you and your eyes, on your or new your bike, bike or mm -hmm. your bike. You get it on hard parts and then you go out riding. Let's say you've been riding and you get gas mm -hmm. and it spills all over here. Mm -hmm. the, flash, the flash temperature and ignition temperature of gasoline and vapors is, is pretty pretty easy it's pretty easy to catch fire so you got to be careful and i know a lot of people they fill up their gas things like this yeah to keep it even now you get gas on the hot parts possibility of uh the vapors catching fire now you're on the bike when it's on fire it's very rare i don't think it's happened very often but it can yeah but you know the possibilities well, I'm. thank you for showing me. I know, like I said, it sounds like a silly freaking question, but like I told you, when we were thinking about riding this morning, you asked me what things am I nervous about when I think yeah. about riding. And it's like, well, I know I have to fill up my gas. Um, last time I effed it up, so what can I do this time to make it the correct way? And that's what made me nervous. It's time, it, I, I feel dumb sometimes asking these questions like, how do I fill up a gas tank? <laughs> it's different. But it's honest. Well, when I you mean, first started driving, it's like, well, what do I do? Yeah, when I first started driving years ago, I didn't know what to do. Yeah. I didn't know which freaking fuel yeah, to put in. Yeah, follow the owner's manual on that one because the engine's designed for higher compression, lower compression. Mm -hmm. Some people are saying like, well, my bike, my manual says 91 octane, but I put in 87 and I've never had an issue. It's like, well, that's great, but I'm now, gonna fall. For now, you haven't had an issue. <laughs> yeah, and at the end of the day, I mean, it's a 50 cents per gallon difference here. And it's so, only like three gallons. Yeah, 1.5 gallons, so 75 cents more to have something that the owner man owner's manual says to have. It makes your bike last longer, probably. Yeah, so. Okay, cool. All right, you ready to ride uh, Old Spanish Trail and get some airflow because it's freaking hot? At ease. All right, all right, let's do it. All right. <laughs> 